So you have right where all the gunk from that tire flies up, you have a lovely place for it to get stuck and caught and sit between two somewhat sealed, somewhat open slabs of steel. Welcome back to the channel. It is 73 degrees inside the shop and 73 degrees outside the shop. What a beautiful day. It was, it's been windy the last several days. Well, I don't know about here because we took a little vacation. I went to Mexico with the family and needed a break. Had a wonderful vacation. Uh, anyway, though, as soon as we came back, we came back Sunday night. We got back late. And by Monday afternoon, I was on a rescue mission. So I forgot the GoPro, and it's a little more dangerous to kind of take video with your phone while you're driving. And some of the law men and women out there don't like it when you do that. So we didn't have any on the road video but if you follow us on our socializers um you know hey facebook instagram that's about it we don't do the the clock one and the uh the snap your fingers one we don't do those but uh we do the the instagram and the facebook so check it out on there you'll 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 see what we're talking about well you'll see it here too but 1979 chevy love now if you go back into these videos that are going to be up here, we've got one and a half of these already. And, uh, you know, we don't need the whole truck. This is a parts rig. This is one of those ain't got no title, you know, deals. But uh, it does have some goodness to it. Now, number one, we'll just start on the back side here. It's got a really nice tailgate, y'all. You can't deny that. Um, it's got good tail lights. I believe we need these. I think we've already got one decent tailgate, but you can't ever have too many cool old truck tailgates. It's just the rule to have some around. But both tail lights are in good shape. The bumper, gosh, I wish that bumper was straighter. We might mess around with it in the press just a little bit and see if we can't make it look nice because it's a cool factory Chevy Love step bumper. Uh, but the box in general is better than either one of our boxes we have now. Um, they all rot here behind the wheel tubs. Okay, it's I got it on both sides. Not a huge deal, but the front, guys and gals, no rust. I mean, some surface speckles here and there. It's trying, but no rust through and no significant rust in the front of this box at all. Um, it's got marker lights. You know, some of these things are just hard to find. And sometimes the Chineseium ones just don't cut it. But the bedside looks pretty good. Now we do have the usual cab rust. Um, but we've got a really clean door here. Um, one little ding -a ling there. But we've got floor rust. This one is uh, the four-cylinder. But it's an automagical one. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. I don't I don't really plan on doing a whole lot with the engine and drivetrain in this, but we might fiddle around with it. But, you know, you, you guys know us. We will fiddle around with it and get it running just because we can. Um, we got door poles, little stuff like that, door handles. The glass is all good on this truck. Um, the outside handles, we got really dry doors. Windshield, not a pit. Or a crack in it um, yeah so it's worth it now here's what really turned us on on this one is it's got a decent grill I don't think it's the right grill for this year truck because it's supposed to be mounted up a little higher but it's got these headlight buckets in one piece you guys and these are really difficult to find now the front bumper again like the back one yeah We'll have to see. We might be able to work with it. 
might be able to not work with it but on around with the rest of the tour here somebody primered it and went ahead and i don't i don't i don't understand what that happened for but okay anyway uh we primered the front end we got the floppy woppy chevy lib hood it is not the best hood in the world um but here we go isuzu slash chevy four banger uh it's not stuck it rolls over it's got oil in it anyway um it never oh yeah here's this is that we're just maybe some silicone on there uh but we're missing breather hose here who knows how long that's been off uh we did look at the transmission fluid it's reddish colored in a way that you know looks like it might work um but yeah i mean it's all there uh belts are still on it and that's kind of the stuff we need to look at when we're looking at stuff that might just run again does it look like it ran when it you know turned off last time yeah uh now one concerning bit we did have some mises in here um but i don't know how you know if in fact i didn't even move this but let's go over to the other side ah i probably should have tried this we'll see oh we've got mechanical actuations so yeah yeah we might get fire out of this i don't see mouse house and other mouse stuff down in the actual carburetor so maybe maybe they didn't get through the air filter on this one uh but yeah we've got we got some windshield washer fluid bottle action that's kind of cool to have it i mean it's here whether or not we do anything with the engine is kind of moot at this point we want for other parts uh let's continue the tour driver's door like the passenger door is in really good shape um the passenger door doesn't latch but that's no big deal and this one has a catch on it oh it stopped doing it uh but yeah dash is blown up as usual uh but we do have you know rear view mirror we've got a door card in this side we can clean up and or paint or something uh but yeah maybe the controls all that jazz are here seats junk no big deal uh the cab itself is i don't know to be honest we'll have to compare because it's been a while since we looked at the red one uh this bedside again you're trying it's trying it's trying to rust but the back is solid on here guys this bed is really even back here it's not as bad as it looks until you get back into these taillight housings and this is where things gather like dirt and rocks and gravel and stuff and on these rear valances i don't know whose idea this was at whether it was you know it probably wasn't an american idea might have been who knows but you have the rear balance and then the side of the bed wraps around and actually attaches here so you have right where all the gunk from that tire flies up you have a lovely place for it to get stuck and caught and sit between two somewhat sealed somewhat open slabs of steel so that's what happens when that happens oh uh, we got a you know a little tire chain spare tire chain or hanger downer thing uh yeah so that's it i mean it doesn't run we're gonna roll out the trailer and we'll probably just park it back behind the other one uh it's got one is that a nissan pathfinder wheel and then the rest seem normal but this one's totally different but that's okay we're not worried about that back glass is good really you know he said if you don't buy it i'm scrapping it i can't i can't let that happen let's walk back here though now this truck believe it or not starts and runs and i can't remember what year it is but it's got the same bumpers so it's got to be the same here right if it has the same bumpers oh there's the shop tiger rolling around in the wild so yeah this one though we've got a much nicer hood so we're good there it's had some hail damages 
Uh, it's got a eh, big old dent in this door, but we don't, yeah, this cab's much nicer. So we're going to end up using this cab. It had the Mises rust, but it does not have as much rust as the other one. So we've got a manual transmission here, and we have had this running. And I think there's a video, if it's back there, I'm going to tag it on here. But here's the problem with this bed is, yeah, there ain't one. So uh, I think we're going to have, it's going to look a little goofy, but we might end up with like a grayish or an orangish, bluish, no, wait a minute, orangish, uh, not sure-ish, primer-ish, bluish type rig. Um, okay, so I lied earlier. We didn't need the tail lights, but we have them. We've got spares now. And actually, this one has a step bumper too. Why? Why did I buy another one? Oh, the bed, the bed, the bed. We needed the bed. Uh, tailgate on this one is a little rougher, but pretty cool too. And then, yeah, on this side, more of the same. Now, this door doesn't look horrible. Uh, but the fenders are pretty horrible on this one. And like I said, the bed is the bed. Now you might say, Jarrett, you said you got one and a half of these. Well, you remember, we rescued a trailer. And because we wanted the trailer for the bed. So let's go, you know, times three and walk over. Because I didn't park it anywhere near the other Chevy Love stuff. It's way over here. Um... We haven't messed with the DeSoto yet. Keep your fingers and toes crossed. The 291, 291 Hemi, something like that. It's in there waiting to come back to life. Here's the 62 Studebaker Champion pickup truck. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. And I'm not sure why we gotta, we gotta do something here. Um, the Dart, it's pretty high up on the list. The BW that I have no idea why I bought it. Uh, Freedom One uh, Substitute Explorer that we thought for sure we'd need last year. So we bought it and then we didn't use it. And now it's been sitting back here. And then this is the 460 donor for the shop truck. And I know you've been through all this before, but we've had videos on the channel for a while now. And some of y'all just don't know the amount of redneckery you know hoarding we've been doing uh another blue 69 plymouth fury 3 this is no post car though but if you remember right if you've been watching the stuff 383 big block and uh another torque flight 727 but the 383 is gonna horned into that bad ride that's that's going to be obnoxious. Uh, but it's sitting there and we're taking like the AC power brakes and stuff like that off of this one and making the 318 Fury just a little bit fancier inside and outside. Uh, this, kind of ignore this for now. Um, we bought it and then we had a plan, but that plan may have changed in part because of the purchase of the blue truck, Chevy Love. And here it is, our half of a Chevy Love. So this is a little bit, I think it's a little bit maybe earlier body or bed, but this was originally plan A to better our box situation. It's not as rusty in the front, um, it, but it does have some pitting and rust through there. I'm pretty sure yeah, it's got it here. They all have it there. Um, but it, it has yucky tailgate and no tail lights, and it, it's just in pretty poor shape otherwise. So it would have been a, a surgery at best. We do have marker lights on this one. So, I mean, we gave next to nothing for this little trailer. And at the very least, we've got a little trailer, but we might do something kind of interesting now that we have like almost two extra Chevy Love beds and that'll you'll you'll get to see that it was originally maybe going to we were going to do this but I think 
we might do this. I don't know. We gotta see, we gotta remeasure. Um, if you have any guesses on what that whole project might be, tippy tap down in the keyboards in the comments and let us know. We still have a fuel barrel that we got for free that we haven't set up. Uh, yeah, we've got stuff and things. Um, Freedom One, instead of getting put away back in the trees, it sat out by the road all, all winter long. Uh, what else we got to update for you? The green 79 Ford, mm, that's going to be long term. I think that's going to be my next build for moi. Uh, and then this one, we've got future stuff for this summer planned here. This is a run and drive a mini truck, and I got to finish getting the title, and then we got to get on that and do some stuff with that. Shop truck, pretty tired, needs the 460. Daughter's first car, needs an engine, it's in the shop. You'll see some video on that. We've got an engine, we've got a driver's fender and a driver in both sides, both doors, I think, on this side. Um, so it's a 2009 Impala, but guy ran it on an oil going down the interstate and it ended up here and, you know, that is that. Uh, we had the wheels changed out on the new shop truck 2.0, so we've got aluminums on here now. They came off of the 62 C20. They were the rollers that we got with it. So I got to put two tires back on the front of that and get it off stands. And, you know, the 427, you know the deal. If you've been watching the 427 tall deck and big overdrive transmission are going in there eventually. That's the plan. Uh, the wellies. Right, this turned into a let's talk about all the stuff we need to do video. But the Willys, 46 or 47 CJ2A. Um, the body's coming off. We've found a tailgate, found an unmolested hood. We can build the body back. No big deal. And we have a marine boat 4.3 V6 for it, carbureted. So it will bolt up with some adapters from Advanced Adapter for somebody to, uh, to make that happen. Uh, the 2N is, believe it or not, still soaking. Yet another video. And uh, I don't know. We tinkered with it for just a little bit one afternoon for funsies. It may take a little more. I don't know if that engine will ever break free. But. And then we have the parts TO20 that luckily we already stole apart this winter for moving snow um the handle for the for the lift broke right off but we were able to take it off of this tractor this engine allegedly runs so it could be that i think it doesn't look like it will i thought maybe the to 20 engines would bolt up to the two end but that that's not gonna happen that's round that is not round i think some of the bolts don't line up or something i don't know we're we're not worried about it right now though and then this truck was one of those let's go buy it and decide what to do with it after it's been in the biggest hail storm known to man way out in i think it's western nebraska um but it's 390 truck can't remember if it was a i think it's not a magical one no four speed that's why four speed 390 truck so you know it's got some stuff going on but uh right now it's just kind of been donating parts and holding the fence for the garden we'll come up with a re something to do with it we do have if you looked in the background i'm not going to walk you all the way back over there but we do have a service bed for a truck and the original plan for this was to make it a really cool kind of farm service truck and uh, put that bed on it and then, you know, do some stuff. And, and it still might go that direction, but man, it's, I mean, it took hailstone. Look at this, guys and dudettes. It took a beating. You got to be a big hailstone to do this kind of damage, especially to an old truck. Right here, I mean, whew. I don't want, want to be there. And then this guy, now this is sometime in the somewhat near future, uh, 1975 K10, um, bought new by some folks that farm just about seven miles that way. 
and uh so it's one owner truck yeah it's been beat and farmed with all its life but here's the exciting part you don't get him play with one of them v8s very often so 400 it is free it's an automatic it's four-wheel drive we've got one good door that came with it and one not so good door that came with it and uh yeah we're gonna get this at least running and then it's gonna be kind of a one of those long-term builds as well where it's gonna get you know most all the rust repair and shined up and you know lift wheels tires running good v8 rar rar all that good stuff that's a cool little look at this you think people that farm aren't smart and can't do stuff so this is homemade this wasn't a kit they didn't buy it or nothing four-wheeler ramps not only do they fold up right against the back of the truck but then there's this little cable assembly and it goes all the way up here and there's little garage door springs under here to help lift it up and hold it up when it's shut when it's done and then they had a little apparatus on the front don't stop it spring they had a little apparatus on the front of the four-wheeler it would come up and automatically catch in here and hold the foiler in place how cool is that i mean that's something that you could market even today if you wanted to but the inside's pretty hogged out nothing too crazy i think it might be i think it might be an ac truck let's see if we can make it open and we'll double check uh no no ac power brakes though has the power brakes, has the power steerings, but no AC. Oh no, how'd this get loose on here? That ain't good, okay. We're gonna have to get a nut on that. I don't think anything got in there yet, but we will run in the garage, maybe. Come on now. Stop it. There. We'll get in the garage and get a, get a nut on that. But, all right, so, oh, oh boy. Mm. Square body hood hinges. Okay, well, that's the Chevy Love and pretty much every other dang thing that we're working on around here. Uh, yeah, comment down below. I mean, I've got in my head the order of stuff we got to do and we've set deadlines before and goals and just haven't been making them that great to be honest but it's all going to be fun we'll get it done and we'll bring you along as much as i can remember to and we'll figure it out together but yeah i think we did all right on the love uh we're gonna roll it off of here and then when Jalen gets home we'll tug it around and probably just park it in line behind them other trucks back there It'll sit for a little while, but the master plan, and tell me if I'm crazy on this one. Well, we're doing it either way. Uh, did some work for a gentleman on an EcoBoost uh, truck pickup. Ended up replacing the turbos. And the vendor that we sourced the new turbos for did not want the cores. There was no core charge involved. so. Uh, I've got two Ford V6 EcoBoost turbos. They both leak oil, but the plan is to seal one of those up and we're gonna turbo the Love, the orange Love, little four cylinder Isuzu motor. And you know, it'll probably blow up, but that's the plan. Anywho, that's the new Chevy Love, latest rescue. Um, probably not gonna, you know, revive it and put it back on the road because number one it doesn't have a title and this is nebraska where you can't just you know honestly build cool stuff and get a title for it it's impossible almost but we will figure something out right now it's a parts rig but we've got some cool plans on where those parts are going and what they're going to do so appreciate you putting up with all that rambling 
watching our stuff, following along. Life is good, summer's getting here, and thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next video.